In lessons 20 and 21, we evaluated expressions some more, and I'm going to start with an example from lesson 20. We wrote and evaluated expressions um, with multiplication and with division. So an, a similar problem was given to this one. In every mini, mini bag of M&Ms, there are 25 M&Ms. So I'm going to create a table from this information. The things I'm interested in are bags and number of M&Ms. And I'm going to fill my table, one bag, two bag, three bags, four bags, okay? Every bag has 25 in it. So then the students and I talked about what would happen if we had two bags. Well, that would be 25 plus 25, or 25 times 2, which would be 50. Three bags of M&M would be 25 times 3, which would be 75. And 4 times 5, 4 times 25 would be 100. So then the students and I said, okay, what if we didn't know how many bags were? What if it was an unknown number of bags or a variable, B bags? Well, based on the information in the table above, every time you know the number of bags, you can multiply it by 25 to get the number of M&Ms. So if we were going to write an expression based on this information, we would do 25 times B or 25B. I'm trying to encourage the students to um, write multiplication with as few symbols as possible and using a coefficient and a variable. Then the students and I looked at the table again and said, hmm, what if we know the number of M&Ms, M? If we say we don't know it. It's an unknown. We're not sure how many we have. What can we do to M every single time to help us calculate the number of bags that we would have holding our M&Ms. So if the students looked at the table and they said, okay, well we can work backwards. Opposite of multiplication is division. Every single time if they divided the number of M&Ms by 25, they would have the number of bags. So the expression in this case would be M divided by 25. And we also talked about how division can be written as a fraction. Some classes didn't have the opportunity to go over the second type of example. This was from lesson 21. Lesson 21 is where we focus on writing and evaluating expressions with multiplication and addition. So here is an example. The taxi cab driver charges each one of his patrons a flat rate of $5 to ride in his cab. Then there is an additional $1.25 charged per mile. So I guess this would be miles traveled. And this would be charge. And to make this realistic, if you were getting in a cab, you're probably traveling some sort of distance. You're not going to go in a cab to, to go one mile. So let's do 5, 10, 15 and 20. I'm going to get my calculator out because we're working with some decimals. Okay. If I travel 5 miles, okay, I am going to do $1.25 times 5 miles. And then I'm going to have to add the flat rate of 5 to it. So my first charge will be $11.25. Okay. 10 miles. Okay, I'm going to take 10 miles and charge times it by $1.25 per mile, which is 12.5 or 12.50. Then I'm going to add the $5 flat rate to it. The charge for 10 miles is going to be $17.50. For 15 miles, I'm going to do 15 times $1.25 per mile, and I'm going to add the flat rate of 5. And for 15 miles, I'm going to be charged $23.75. And last but not least, I'm going to do 20 miles times $1.25. And I'm going to add the flat rate of 5. And I'm going to be charged $30 to travel 20 miles. I'm now going to just give you some, read you some word problems, and then I'm going to pause it for some questions. Ryan's family was traveling for vacation. Ryan recorded the number of miles that he traveled per hour. You can 
try this on your own. If you're watching this with Educanon, um, you will get confirmation right away if you're correct or not. The next problem, John and Izzy order a pizza. For every pizza, there is a $6 charge. In addition, there is a $2 delivery charge. And if you could answer the questions in Educanon or try to work on this on your own with, with your family, that would be great. 